After several days of Gazan demonstrations against their Hamas leaders in the Gaza Strip, PA President Abbas is now confident that eventually a coup against the terror group will successfully occur. In fact, on Thursday, Abbas vowed that eventually Hamas will end up in the trash can of history. And here now with more on this is founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies, Dr. Martin Sherman. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for the thank you for inviting me. So, do you predict that there will be a coup in Gaza or can Hamas contain the violence and demonstrations as they claim that they're able to do? Well, you know, in the Middle East only the foolhardy forecast, but uh, in the history of uh, recent decades far more onerous tyrannies have been uh, deposed. Uh, but the, the, the question is here, you know, what is this all about? I, I, I'm not sure that the, that the public in Gaza are protesting uh, Hamas ideology. They're protesting uh, Hamas failure because, you know, the, it's, it's a sort of routine to portray the, the public in Gaza as the victims of the leadership, of the Hamas leadership. But well, interestingly, really... you know, roughly 40% of Palestinians in a recent poll said that they'd still vote for Hamas in elections, uh, though this is down from a few months ago. Well, I, I'm sure, that's what I was saying, you know, the, the, they're not really the victims of the leadership, they're the crucible in which that leadership was formed and from which it emerged. Because, you know, uh, Fatah was in charge before, and Fatah was ejected because they did a bad job. They were ejected for their corruption. Uh, and uh, the question is, if if uh, uh, Hamas is replaced, who will replace it? Right. Will, uh, will Fatah replace it who was rejected? Well, previously? that's the question. If there is a successful coup in Gaza, w what's going to happen? Well, you, you know, this, this could be some more radical successor. You must remember that... Uh, uh, Gaza borders on Sinai, which is basically uh, a jihadi no man land, uh, and you never know what kind of influences uh, will take over there. Um, you know, the problem is not really money. I mean, Gaza has been flooded with money before and after the Hamas, and the money has been squandered because not because there was no money, but because of corruption and their priorities. Uh, much of the humanitarian aid that goes into Gaza has been appropriated by Hamas and used for purposes other than those that they were intended for. So I, I think it's an open question. I think that Hamas could be, de could be uh, deposed, but I'm not sure who would replace it, how long that replacement would stay in, 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 in power, and uh, whether this would uh, uh, improve the situation down the line. You know, this well, is in, in your opinion, what is the best case scenario for Israel here? Would it be good if there is a coup against Hamas? Well, you know, I'm... I've been I've been recommending for 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 years now that the only real uh, recommendation for uh, for uh, Gaza that will bring about uh, stability is uh, large scale uh, uh, compensation and evacuation of the non belligerent population because I think you know after a quarter of a century of attempts to force self rule on Gaza it's been proven a total failure. At some stage, you have to you have to reach the conclusion that self-rule for Gaza is just not an option. And if you don't want to rule the Gazans, then the only option is evacuation of the non-belligerent population to third-party countries with appropriate compensation. And I'm glad to see that several parties in the Knesset are now embracing this sort of idea. Well, I, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens in the Gaza Strip. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Sherman. Thank you.